We are trying to understand the mechanism underlying our learning and memory. And our learning and memory occurs in synapses, uh, which is connection between two neurons. And when these neurons change the strength of their communication, they uh, basically we can learn. I believe that understanding this biochemical reaction during the memory formation is very important to understand the disease associated memory impairments such as Alzheimer's disease. Uh, interestingly, the, uh, the molecule we are working on in this study is implicated in a lot of uh, disease, mental disease, including Alzheimer's disease and uh, mental retardation. So uh, I believe that by understanding the signaling or by this reaction better, uh, we will understand this disease. We are developing new technology to monitor biochemical reaction in neurons and synapses. We know that uh, for change in synaptic strength or formation of our memory, gene transcription is required. So we ask the question, how many synapses are required to activate the gene transcription in the nucleus? Each neuron has only one nucleus and all these 10,000 synapses need to decide what the reaction in the nucleus they want to have. So we basically developed technique to visualize the activity of protein that controls gene transcription in the nucleus. And to our surprise, we found that uh, when we stimulated just three spines in the neuron, uh, we uh, we found profound activation of this protein in the nucleus. So this suggests that actually it's not like uh, that hundreds, sorry, 10,000 synapses are under doing major majority voting, but it's more like in each individual synapse has profound voice to control the nucleus. So we thought this is very amazing finding, which will improve our, our, our understanding of learning and memory.